Now, four okay. competitive athletes. Common problem. Mm -hmm. What would it be? Oh, for that, I can already tell you easily. Tendon overloads, muscle overloads. Because they're training four, six, four to six hours a day and it's insane. Um, whereas the for, for bodybuilding clientele, it's a little bit different. Where one hour tops and we get out of the gym. But we are talking about, let's say, a national swimmer. In the morning, two hours, go to school. Then another two hours, land training. And then another two hours at night. So that's a lot of overloading and it's not just one day and it's probably three to four times a week of this same routine. So that will cause a lot of overload issues to soft tissue structures, meaning your muscle, your tendons, and sometimes your ligaments as well. So uh, yeah, that is um, for any competitive sports. So even uh, for rugby as well, uh, we treat a very good swimmer in our uh, clinic as well. Uh, we work with Daniel Bagel, okay? right. so he refers uh, a few of his students to us as well. Right. And okay. yeah, so our team is to help people. Nice. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to share with everybody a bit of my own personal experience. So I met, mm -hmm. I've asked uh, Joseph and also Marcus to help me many, many times. Not once, not twice, I think more than 10 times. Lah. Okay. Cuba komen sikit kat bawah apa yang you all pelajari dari episod hari ini. Also, jangan lupa untuk subscribe and share this video dengan kawan you all yang nak sihat and kurus. So, yeah. the last one I recall it was was it the bicep was too tight or was it the chest? I can't remember. But I do know back then you were still powerlifting, right? No, no, this was I think like uh, a year ago. You know, okay, two okay. years ago, before the lockdown, I, I, I told you that, hey, bro, I think it was my chest was too tight. Then you were trying to figure mm -hmm. out how to straighten my hand. Then at the end, yep. then you brought something to heat up. You can tell, like, bro, make sure you warm up properly. Ah, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So just to share with you guys, we, even though we as an athlete or competitive athlete have competed in many competitions, we like to assume things. We like to assume things like what we know. Like we, I thought like I come, came in confidently. Like, bro, I think it's my chest. I think it's my chest. Then when I told you, just have a look. Like bro, it's actually your bicep, and you did not warm up properly. And it was true. I did not warm up properly on that day because I was too lazy. And I was rushing. So for those mm -hmm. people out there, if you have some sort of uh, mobility issue or some sort of restriction, instead of trying to assume. Why not go find people that can assist you or help you? For example, Joseph lah, or you can just go to Regen and ask or seek for help. So this is my experience. Yeah? Apart from that also, my client, um, this gentleman, this uncle 60 plus, um, he keep telling me he got low back pain. Then I said, please go find Joseph, let Joseph sort that out. Can you share a bit about his condition? Elderly man, working and he have low back issue. Maybe there are people out here that are listening having similar issues. Mm -hmm.